Hi everyone, welcome to another Courseplay tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Courseplay for combining two fields. On such notecap, we have, we have field number 15 and 20 right next to us, and we want to get rid of the road in between the fields. And this is a perfect opportunity to be using the Courseplay. So we have a plow um, attached to the tractor, and we're going to select the Allow Create Fields mode, which is pressing the Y key. And you can tell right here that now it's um, allowing to create fields. Next thing we want to do is we want to line up the tractor so we can start recording a course to tell Courseplay how to do this. So let's start up the engine and position the tractor right here on the edge of this field. So thankfully these two fields seems to be lining up just about perfectly. So we want to use the center of the tractor to define where the limit of the field is. So let's open up the course play hot, which we do by clicking the right mouse button. Right, so now we're ready to record the course. Now this course that we're going to record is the outer boundary of where the course play should be working, because we don't want the course play to be working on field number 20 or field number 15. We want to define the area where course play should be working. So let's record the outer boundary of this course. So we press the start recording and we drive straight forward like so. And that should line us up perfectly with this boundary here. All right, so now we can make a sharp turn and go straight up to the other side of the, of the field and line up here. And that should be just fine. And there we go. And now we can return back to the start of the course down here. Like so. And we stop the recording here. So now we have defined to course play the boundary where it should be working. If we press this button here, we can tell exactly where it's going to be working. It's going to be working within this square that we just created here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to tell the course play what to do within these boundaries. So for that, let's click that away again. We want to go into the field work mode, which is this button here. And that opens up the course generation button up here. So once we click that, we now have the field edge path and we're going to be using the currently loaded course, which is the course that we just set up here, the square that we just drove here. So we're going to be using that. And the working width of the plow is more than 0 0.1. So let's unfold that and see what it says. There we go. So 3.6 meters is the working width of the, of the course. That seems about fine. The starting corner, well, we want to be starting down in this corner here. So that will be the southernmost western corner. So southwest, like that. And we're going to be heading north, like that. We don't really care about returning to the first point, and we don't really care about any headlands. So if we press the Generate Field Course button, which is this button here, we now have set up course plate to start right here, and it's going to create a field where the road is now and let's just double check we can click this button here and we'll see that it generates the course there so all of this here is going to be plowed so it's going to combine the two fields and it should do it just perfectly if we set up the course correct all right let's line up the tractor and let's see if we can actually manage to do this So let's start from the first waypoint and drive the course. He's going to fold up the implement, which they always do when you do this. And then he's going to go over to the start point, unfold the implement once again. Actually, let's see if he does this correct. Oh, that's going to be bad. Right. Okay. Well, it seems to be going just fine now. There we go. He's on the course now. So when you do this, you might want to start off. Uh, lining up a little bit better than I did here but as you can tell it's a perfectly straight line and now he's coming to the end of the course that we drove 
I'm just going to reverse back and turn around and go the other direction. Actually, we don't want him to reverse back. We kind of want him to turn on the outside of the field, um, which we do somewhere. I forgot where that is now. Oh, it's in here. My bad. So if we turn off the turn on field, if we deactivate that, he's going to be turning on the outside of the field now. We can tell when we get to the other end here. Let's just have a look. And now he's just going to turn on the outside of the course that we set. So if you take your time and set this up perfectly, um, you end up with a combined field here that is just about perfect lined up on both sides. So I'm going to jump out and let him go on. Here we go. And he's creating a new field here. Just as simple as that. Alright guys, I hope you learned something and I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, do post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.